But what we're going to do is I'm just going to go over a quick review of the homework in case you have, you're getting stuck on it. Um, this is similar to what you uh, will look at um, on the homework. And it basically is reminding us that we have um, two kinds of things in the world, either mixtures or uh, pure substances. Now, pure substances can either be elements or compounds. And so our job is to sort of understand how we would draw those and then define them as we look at the, the different diagrams or representations of these things. So the first and most simple thing is an element. An element is basically all the same kind of atom. It's a bunch of the same atom. So if we look at these diagrams here, you can see there's only one here that actually has all the same kinds of atoms, and that's this one. So this would be an element. So in this diagram, all the circles uh, represent an atom, and since they're all shaded in, that represents the same kind of atom, therefore all of them are the same, and that's our element. And then we look around, now we're looking for the next thing, it would be a compound. Now a compound is a bunch of the same molecule, and in that molecule the, the atoms have to be of different kinds. So if we look around here, we'll see uh, a bunch of different examples, but this one I think is the simplest one. It's a bunch of the same molecule. You can see that these three circles are stuck together, which means they're bonded. These, each circle represents an atom, and since the atoms are bonded, we call that collection of three things a molecule. And this uh, molecule is the same as this one, as all of them. So they're all the same kind of molecule, which means it's uh, a bunch of the same molecule, and that's our definition of a compound. Um, but because all these are the same, we consider this a pure substance, even though there's different kinds of atoms, because each of these molecules behaves the same way. Um, just like uh, over here, we have all the same atoms, and um, all these atoms behave the same way. So that's, that's that. Now, once you know what an element and a compound are, you should be able to notice that these others are either... Uh, elements and compounds again, or they're mixtures of elements, um, mixture of two different compounds, or mixtures of elements and compounds. And so what we're trying to do is look at this and try to say, okay, um, let's take this one for example. Um, do you see any molecules here? Um, you should say no, there's no molecules there. They're all atoms, but are they all the same atoms? No, they're not all the same atoms. We have the shaded ones and the not shaded ones. Therefore, this diagram shows us different kinds of atoms, and therefore it's, it's a mixture because it's not all the same thing. It's a mixture of different things. And so you can see it's actually going to, in this case, this is going to be a mixture of elements. Um, go to the next one here, and you'll see uh, we have a bunch of molecules here, but they're not all the same kind of molecule. These four are the same, and these four are the same. Um, so we have here a mixture of two, um, oh, well, well, it's either a mixture of two compounds or a mixture of an element and a compound. So this is where it gets a little tricky. These guys are made of different kinds of atoms. So therefore, these are compounds, or a compound. It's all the same one. You can see they're all the same. So these are compounds. So it's a mixture of one compound, and then these are the same so this is a mixture of an element and a compound. Now if we zoom down to this one, um, we start looking at these and we say, okay, we have these four that are the same and they're all molecules and they're molecules with different kinds of atoms. Therefore, that's one compound. And then you look at this, 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 and this, they're all the same. Um, these four are the same. They're also mixtures, or rather, they're also uh, made, or molecules made of two different kinds of atoms. So this is a compound, uh, these, this one with six here, this is a compound, and this is a compound. So this is gonna be a mixture of compounds. In our last example here, um, I think you can sort of figure this one out. You see, these all are alike, therefore, Whatever this is, it's a pure substance. Now the question is, is it an element or is it a compound? Well, if you look over here, they're not all the same kind of atoms in these 
molecules. Therefore, this is not an element. These are, there are actually two elements in this. Um, but they're bonded together in a molecule, and this molecule behaves um, the same way. So when I think of this, I, I often think of the analogy of words. So, for example, each atom here represents one letter. And these maybe be all A's, A, 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 A. All of these represent the letter A. A bunch of the same letters would be an element. Over here, these letters are combined to form something new. These atoms are combined to form something new. So these atoms can be thought of as words, but it's all the same word. So let's take a three-letter word. Since this is a three-atom molecule, we could say this word cat, 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 cat. So these are all the word cat, say. Therefore, they're all the same word. Therefore, it's a pure substance, but it's not as simple as a single letter. We have words here, but all the same words. Therefore, it's we call that um, in our in chemistry we call that a compound, a bunch of the same molecules at compound. So hopefully that'll help you and uh, give you a start on the homework and let you uh, have some success on this. Good luck.